some of the earliest affected regions in Alzheimer's disease include these subcortical neuromodulatory structures like the locus ceruleus, certain hypothalamic nuclei. It's actually over a dozen uh, subcortical neuromodulatory structures that are affected uh, really early on, meaning you see phosphatau inclusions, uh, uh, changes in uh, neurotransmitter production, and even neuron loss. Uh, so I wanted to understand what some of the underlying mechanisms of that vulnerability is in the context of Alzheimer's disease. Uh, so we looked at a gradient of vulnerability with two nuclei representing uh, a highly vulnerable one, the locus ceruleus, and one that's less vulnerable um, in Alzheimer's disease, the substantia nigra. Um, uh, we use this cohort down in Sao Paulo, Brazil, um, that's amazingly curated by um, uh, researchers at the University of Sao Paulo Brain Bank. Um, and uh, it's pretty much a population-based cohort. 80% uh, of the individuals are below BRAC stage three. Uh, and uh, we have a pretty wide age range from mid thirties to nineties. And uh, we found that there's uh, significant changes in uh, pathways like uh, oxidative stress, uh, lipid metabolism, neuroinflammation, which makes sense uh, uh, given, you know, the role that these regions play, but uh, uh, it's exciting because it highlights uh, not just what we thought about the regions that they are vulnerable, but also uh, that there's potential therapeutic targets that don't necessarily focus on the Alzheimer's related lesions, but actually kind of the underlying biology of how certain brain regions might die in those really, really early stages of the disease um, where, you know, if you could stop disease progress, uh, uh, you could uh, significantly reduce burden for patients and caregivers. It's really exciting that we found, you know, loads of uh, transcriptomic differences between these things, but uh, it's, uh, you know, important now to focus in on a few of them and try and uh, build hypotheses that are testable in various systems. Like I mentioned, the uh, locus ceruleus and some of these other subcortical nuclei are some of the most highly conserved regions of the brain. So we can use things like animal models reasonably well to test uh, uh, pretty specifically some of these, these uh, pathways. So uh, we're developing some hypotheses based on the transcriptomic data uh, that we're hoping to dig into using in vivo and, you know, in vitro systems to get at what specific oxidative stress pathways and how are specific organelles affected and maybe where along kind of those pathways um, uh, might you be able to modify uh, uh, the um, vulnerability and ultimate, you know, cell dysfunction and loss.